Hi guys, it's me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, I was asked if I can share how to do the Make It Now project of the pop-up octopus card. It's actually called the Sea Monster card. I went in and did that. This is the envelope that's going to cut out. It's a rather large envelope. The card is not this large. Opening this up, and the inside here is the pop-up card. On the front, I just took a negative cut and added that there. Then here is the pop-up. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is a really fun little card. It's a little bit difficult with the score lines, but we can handle it. And then there's a saying there that you're going to draw with your marker that says, what's Kraken? That's kind of fun. Then you can see there. Really fun. Now, it does tell you for the materials that you would need would be, it said, a dark green cardstock or a textured green cardstock, green cardstock, and gray cardstock. So nothing about blue or white. Then I went ahead and changed it. I did do one originally. This is using, um, I used all Stampin' Up! colors here. This is always Artichoke. Then here is Island Indigo. And that's just the green and the blue, and that looks kind of neat. And you can see there's the basic gray, but I wanted something more lighter, so I went ahead and did my own background. What I did there, just took a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock, any white cardstock you have. I used two Stampin' Up! ink colors, Wild Wasabi and then Pull Party. Took a little Stampin' Sponge and then sponge on that. So it kind of gives me that, um, you know, like the ocean feel, so it's not all white or all one color. And I do think that kind of makes the card. It just adds a little bit of brightness to it. All right, let's go ahead and go to the machine and we'll get started on cutting this out. Alrighty guys, we're at the computer. You want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left hand corner where it says account. Go ahead and click on that and then click on sign in. Enter in your email and your password. And then you can verify you're your, your logged in when you see your name appear in that green box in the upper left hand corner. All right, stay so on this page. You want to go to the right hand side where it says all categories. Click on that and then go down to where it says cards. That's kind of going to narrow our search a little bit. All right, scroll down and you're going to see the pop-up card. Right there, it's called the Sea Monster pop-up card. Click on that. And here you can see the materials. It tells you as far as the cardstock, a textured green cardstock, green cardstock, and gray cardstock. If you look here, this is awfully light in the back. That's why I went ahead and used the sponging technique. But you can certainly use whatever colors you want. All right, bottom right-hand corner, go ahead and click on Customize. And this is a free project. And this will kind of give you an idea of what the materials you need are. So we have a green piece here for the envelope. Go ahead and set that aside. Then we have this piece here, and that's the piece, the what the white piece that I went ahead and sponged on. You can see that's where all the pop-up part is. Then that piece is going to adhere to this base there. Then we just have all the tentacles here. All right, go ahead and click on go. And then here it tells you you need four mats. So you need one here. I'm just going to use the Whisper White. The envelope, you do need a full sheet. And then that piece there, and then the gray. I'm going to go back to my first one. Now I'm using 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and I have it set um, in portrait mode. So I'm going to go and take this piece here and rotate it. This way I'm sure it's going to fit on my piece of cardstock. All right, let's go ahead and click on Go. I'm going to go ahead and cut all these out. You do need the scoring stylus as well as the Cricut marker, the black marker. I'm using the gray one. Any one is fine. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out, meet you at the table, and we'll put it together. Alrighty, guys, I have everything cut out. Here's our envelope, and I did go ahead and sponge my envelope as well. Let's go ahead and score these up or crease on the score marks. So there's the envelope. We're going to go ahead and glue this so we have them two little flaps there. Now you'll see when you fold the envelope up, it doesn't go all the way to the top, so you want to make sure you don't glue all the way to the top. I'm going to kind of glue just on the inside line like that. And then like that. And then go ahead and fold that up. And we have our envelope. Any extra glue you have hanging off, you can if you're using the ATG gun, you can just kind of rub that with your finger. All right, that is done. So now we have the green piece. Again, you want to fold that. Increase it on the score mark really well. All right, now we have this piece. This you'll see, hopefully you can see they're all the score lines. I'm going to see if I can zoom you in. I know it's going to be kind of hard because I'm working on white on white. But you have where the card folds in half. Can you see the score marks? Just going to increase that. That's going to be our halfway mark for the card. Then these ones, they're kind of hard to score, to be honest. You have one right here. I'm going to go and just kind of fold it. And you'll see where they are. Just kind of fold them. And then when you get it where it is, go in there and take your bone folder. 
just flatten that out. Okay, so we have that one. Now we have another one right here. And you can see all I'm doing is pinching them. Just to kind of get the fold started. Okay, so we got that one. And there's another one right here. One here. And then one right up top here. Okay, so I, I got most of them, I think. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of push them all in the best I can. Again, just kind of work on them creases. Okay. Now when you fold to this in half, it should, you know, you're gonna push some of them in, some of them out. You really just gotta play with it on how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna fold this one. Okay. I'm just kind of back here, just kind of pushing all those score marks in so I can push this down to form my card. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and give that a crease like that. Now I can see that one right there creases up. This one right there should. I don't think there's a, yeah, there's a score mark right there. Okay. Okay, so I have that one. Like I said, when you figure it out, then it's like, oh, okay, you know. So you just gotta kind of play with it for a little bit. Okay, so now we can see kind of where our pieces are gonna go. So I know these ones go up like this. This guy comes up. There we go. So when you have it folded up, you're going to have, okay, it's going to look like that. Can you see that? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and adhere this to this. All right. Now what I do, I found the easiest way to do this is flip it over. I'm going to use my ATG gun, and I'm going to go. You can see where the card folds in half. Right there is the halfway mark of our card. Okay, so I'm going to put adhesive right up to that crease. I'm going to go across the top with my ATG gun, and I'm going fairly close to the edge. Across the bottom. And a few in here. Now where my gun won't reach, I'm going to go and use a wet glue. I'm just going to use this um, two-way glue pen. I'm just going to put it real close to this piece here. Okay. All right, going to put that aside. I'm going to take my card on the bottom part that has no glue on it and just kind of line them up like you would a card. You're just stacking them and then holding that down, then just push. And a little bit of extra adhesive there, so just go ahead and rub that off. Okay, so now that part is glued down. And then since that's down, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this flat. And you can come in with a, you know, with a brayer or your bone folder, just keep on re you know, reinforcing that crease as best you can. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna take this side and glue that one down. So the same thing, I'm gonna go to the edge with my ATG gun. You don't want to put glue on any, on any, on any of your pop-up areas, otherwise it's not going to 
work. Okay, set that aside and then just kind of bring this guy down. Okay, and then just again flip it over. I mean, you could take anything, you know, like I have a little rolling pin, a dowel rod. If you don't have a brayer, you can certainly use a dowel rod just to make sure everything's laying flat for you. All right, so there is the base of our card. All right, now we have these pieces and these. Now, you'll see some of these have a wider end. Can you see how some of them are wider and skinnier? You're basically just gonna put adhesive, at least how I did it, on these little fl um, front pieces here. So I'm gonna take this one, and you can use the picture to kind of, you know, on the, on the computer to kind of guide you. So take a wet glue. I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna lay the card down flat. I can see my score mark right there. I'm gonna put some glue there. And then line this up with the bottom. And then open it up and lay them down. And just kind of hold it there, making sure that, cut, that glue sticks. If you need to, you can kind of stick your finger in there. Okay, and so we have that one. Now I want, um, see how this one's much wider? So you can put that one in the front, which we're gonna do, but I do wanna do this back one first. Let's find that skinny one. That's gonna go back here. Again, I'm gonna grab my glue on that area there that we can see this pops up. Grab this guy and put him there. And again, I'm gonna kind of hold him up so I can make sure he's level. Hopefully you can see all that. If you need to, you can kind of go in there with your finger or a pen or something so you can grab that. And then just hold it, let the glue make contact. All right, now we have this one, same idea. Put glue on that little flap that's gonna pop up. And I'm lining this part up with that crease like that. And then just again, holding it down for a second or two. I'm gonna lay it flat. Make sure everything's, nothing's sticking. Okay, I think we're pretty good. All right, last one is right here. guy down. Now if you want to, I mean I did on this card, I did go in there and sponge some of that green so it wasn't so green. I went over with my pool party ink and you can certainly do that. Okay, I'm sticking everything. I'm going to bring in my piece of scrap paper and I'm going to ink these up. So you can do it when the cards assemble because if you're like me you're going to forget. Alright, so the pool party ink and again you don't have to do the sponge if you don't want to. I just think it adds something, you know, so it's not so green. Okay. All right, so now we have that. Now we have our gray pieces, and these were cut with the Stampin' Up! Um, Sahara Sand. I'm going to lay them down, ink them up as well with the pull party. Go over them with the wad wasabi. All right, and I'm gonna do this guy while we're here as well. Just, just re make that pull party a little bit darker so it stands out some. And then again, I'm gonna go back in over that with my wad wasabi. All right, so we're done with all that stuff. Let's finish the car, shall we? All right, so we have these two little waves. They're going to go in the back. So what we're going to do is take our glue pen. I'm going to put glue on the one in the back. Lay a wave there. And it's okay if this sticks out because your envelope is bigger. Okay, so lay that guy down. One more, and that's going to go in the back here, just like that. So put some glue on the back of this one. I'm going to lift it up. 
and actually he goes right here. I'm sorry. Yep, right there. He ain't gonna fit in the back. So there's where my waves are. See the waves? All right, give all that a little squish. Make sure it's everything's laying down. Now we have this piece. Now this piece only adheres to this front piece there. Okay, if you look at that, that's where it adheres. I think they should have um, give us a, you know, given us more room to adhere this down because it's not going to lay down. Only on that one area. So you're going to put some glue right there. And then put this where you want it. I'm going to kind of have it go off a little bit like that. Again, just let it sit there and dry a little bit. Actually, I'm going to move that over. Okay, and there is our card. Now everything is glued down. Just go ahead and fold it. I'm going to go in there again, just squish everything. Okay, and there you have it. There's the card. Isn't that cute? Now, like I said, we had that negative cut right there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this negative cut to the front. You don't need to do this. I just thought the front needed a little bit of something on here. You can, of course, cover it with a designer series paper if you want to. Okay, lay that however you want it to go. All right, so there you have it, guys. Today's card, the Make It Now Project. I said, not, not too bad. The, the, the hard part is all the folding. You know, you need to figure that out. Once you make one card, I would suggest going in there, playing around, using a scrap piece of cardstock, figure out the folding, and then um, go in there with your good cardstock. But there you have it. There's the card. Let's go ahead and squish this gun in our little envelope. And you can see the envelope is much bigger than the card, therefore it allows you to come outside, which is what makes the card even nicer. Now, if you don't want to add this uh, what's um, kraken, you can certainly go in there when you're, when you're in the design space mode. Go in there and click on this layer. You'll see the layer with the writing. You want to right click on it and hit detach. That's going to take the lettering away, but then you want to make sure when you take that away, go back in there and attach it because you want to attach all those score lines back. And if you want more information about that, leave me a comment. I will do a video just sharing on how you can take the text off. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I'm pretty sure you can. All right, so there you have that on our little envelope, our little um, C octopus card. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hi guys, I'm back. I thought real quickly I would share with you how to go about taking that text off your card if you don't want to have it there and also adding your own text. I have the card already loaded in Design Space. I'm going to go ahead and move the envelope out of my way and take this piece here that has the font or the text already on there. The first thing you want to do is have that shape selected. Right click on it. Go down to where it says Detach and then click on that. Then click on the text box. And you can either hit the X here or the delete button on your keyboard to make the text box go away. Now, if you want to leave it like this, leave it plain, you can certainly do that. You want to take your left mouse button across the entire thing and go back and right click on it and then reattach it. That way the score lines will stay with the card. I'm going to go back though and click on detach because I want to add text to here. So on my left hand side toolbar where it says add text, click on that, it will bring up a text box window. And since this is a sea monster card, I thought we'd kind of play with the words and write down S E A U and then hit enter on the keyboard and then type in soon with an exclamation point. All right, so there's our text box. You now wanna to go to the edit panel and change the text if you want to. I have my text box selected here. I'm gonna go where it says all fonts, alphabet, and then regular, click on a regular and then change that to a writing style. And then you can change the font. So I'm gonna click on that, click on my text box first, click on that, I'll bring down the drop down menu for the fonts and then find one that you like. And I was playing in here early and I did like the one called Cherry Limeade. Of course, you guys can pick any one you want. I'm just sharing with you how to do it. All right, so Cherry Limeade right there. And you can see that change. Now we can take this piece and drag it on top down here. Then you can make it larger if you want to. And I do want my text to be centered. So I'm going to have my text selected back to the edit panel. And you'll see them three rectangles there. The center one is your alignment for the center alignment. Click on that and you can see it all lines up. Now you want to take your left mouse button again, drag it across the entire thing, and then right click on it and then attach. That way it's going to attach that text to the card with the score lines and everything else. Hope that helped. Um, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.